Well, howdy, folks. Ron Howard, Extreme Sequences. Back at it again, 2019. What a phenomenal year so far. But I have to say, I am digging some of these newer effects and features that you can apply to the effects. And one that comes to mind is this really cool new direction uh, and velocity combination. I believe Doug Real had reached out to Keith and asked for this feature and Keith was very gracious and accommodating and made it happen. And when Doug was explaining it to me, I kind of could see what he was talking about, but it wasn't until I started playing around with it that it made complete sense why this is so cool. Now, some of you might've seen my little spoof funny video on the whole uh, tools generate 2D path where basically you can just uh, uh, follow along a path, a vector type path, like uh, the name of my company, which I did was pretty funny. And then also uh, maybe a vortex or some type of spiral or crossword puzzles that I was making fun about. Uh, but it's a very, very cool tool too. But I found that this kind of works in the same way for basically kind of creating a circular motion using the velocity and direction. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to grab, let's go with our effect here. This is the shape tool. This is the one. And we're going to change this to heart. Let's go with hearts. It's that time of the year, right? Cuddle up with your loved one, tell them you love them so much, get them some chocolate, then complain because they put on too much weight from eating too much chocolate. It's your own fault. Don't be an enabler. Give them some tofu. <laughs> Ain't nobody in this family going to eat tofu ever. So let's get back to this. I digress. So let's make these a little bit thicker. Start size. That's fine. So what? Ha watch what happens with this uh, direction. See, if I if you move this around a little bit, you can see that they're trying to do something, but they're not really moving, Ron. But when you start adding in the velocity, look at that. It's going to the right. Change the directions. Straight up. Back to the left. Down. This is pretty cool. I kind of like this. So why don't we do this? Let's make that velocity there and let's apply a value curve to the direction. And that's the one I chose a while ago. So let's do that. Let's see what it does. Up and around until it gets to the peak and then back around and then up. Oh my gosh, we have just made a figure eight. Is that crazy? A figure eight with hearts using basically one <laughs> one value curve uh and let's let's take it a little bit further let's let's go with let's go with a a seesaw and we won't go all the way up let's do this oh bend it down and a up and a down or oh, it's just going up and down to the left and that's still pretty cool i like it so get in there and play with these things have a little fun with this let's use this one here We'll go extreme. Let's make the velocity faster. Uh, yeah, yeah, not into the fast moving stuff. Really not. And then there's our lifetime. Keep it from blinking so much. And less lifetime. And basically that looks like a lover's quarrel. That's a fight. Don't, don't, don't go there. There we go. That's better. And of course, you've got your start size. We could put a nice little ramp on this. And to get the start size, and as it goes and goes and goes and goes, it gets larger and larger, still following where you told it to go. All right, pretty cool. I wonder what one of these would do. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, check that out. I like that. <laughs> I really, really like that. And this guy here was from... Uh, that is from my my spiral. I traced a spiral with the X and Y coordinates yesterday playing around with that. I'd done it before and I deleted the entire file consolidating from one computer to another. So I had to start over. But that's okay. That's good practice. All right. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, get in there with the shapes. 
Start playing with the velocity and direction. These things are really, really awesome and can take some of your matrix work to a whole new level. And if you've got a lot of density on your house, take that whole house effect to a whole new level. Catch you later.